hello guys uh, welcome to big book in this slides we are going to discuss about the iodine test which is again a biochemical test which is again going to be a qualitative test not a quantitative test you know that qualitative tests are the tests which are going to check only the compound presence and quantitative tests are made to estimate the amount of the compound present so the principle of the iodine test is iodine forms colored absorption absorption with polysaccharides whenever you are going to add the iodine it is going to absorb to the polysaccharides and gives the certain color starch gives blue color and glycogen reacts to form reddish brown complex so depending upon the nature of the saccharide uh, of the polysaccharide the color is has been exhibited that is the starch starch gives the blue color and glycogen reacts to form reddish brown complex it is also useful and rapid test for amylose, amylopectin and glycogen. Rapid uh, test in the sense here we can directly add the iodine into the sample. There is no other reagent is required, required to make any compromises so to get the result. So here that is what it is a rapid test for amylose amylopectin and glycogen next is the iodine test where the reagents required that is the iodine solution and one percent test solutions iodine solution is prepared by 0 0.005 normality iodine solution in three percent weight per volume potassium iodide solution so at the normality of 0 0.005 of the iodine solution we can prepare from uh, we can prepare the iodine solution at 0 0.005 normality iodine solution in 3% potassium iodide solution so that is the iodine solution and 1% test solution in the sense glucose dissolved in the distilled water sucrose or the starch glycogen and the cellulose etc so these are the this can be the test solutions so iodine test can be done on the two different samples or the matters that is the solid sample or the solid matter or the liquid sample or the liquid matter here the procedure is to be the where we are going we can take any vegetable like potato or any other vegetable you know, which is uh, highly high with the content of the polysaccharides like uh, in potato starch is present so we have to peel off the skin of any vegetable and the fruits as these are often impermeable okay and uh, we have to use this spatula to remove samples of the powdered food avoid cross contamination okay and further we have to add a few drops of benzoiodine or the iodine solution potassium to a piece of solid food on a white tray so here as in the image you can see that they have directly added the iodine solution in the half of the half cut of the potato and uh, they are showing the result and you can other words other in the other words as it has been explained you can take a spatula and you can take some sample and you can keep on either on the watch glass or the white tile and you can pour the iodine solution and you can watch the result so you can do the observations whether the color is changing or not and uh, liquid samples in this uh, you have to take some mls they are 
set up to 10 centimeter cube or 10 ml if you take 2 to 5 ml also it is okay so here you have to take the sample and uh, you have to add about 5 drops of fluid insertion to the test tube so here we are going to see the difference in the color of the solution that is it is going to turn to the blue if it is the starch if it is the glycogen then it is the reddish brown or deeper deep brown so here dark brown also you can say so here in liquid sample testing there will be one called to be as the control that will be again called to be as the blank because in that there will not be any sample in the place of the sample we take deionized water or the distilled water also so in this uh, distilled water is again deionized water so here again uh, sorry in this uh, we will add the iodine drops to make the difference between the reaction happening in the sample test tube to the controller test tube so the sample test tube will show the result that is the dark blue color so next slide is iodine test where it is showing the list of final color results so here glucose fructose maltose lactose sucrose it will show yellow or brown color whatever the iodine color is there but the starch is going to give the blue or the dark blue or the black color in the appearance after reacting with the starch that is the iodine is going to react with the starch and give these results so here if you are going to consider starch as the polysaccharide and other polysaccharides are also going to react with the iodine and give the colors depending upon their structure and the reaction so this is regarding the iodine test this is uh, the brief note on this particular test hence uh, request to frequently tune tune the the book and uh, spread the message of the big book among your friends and in the college and the along your other students so thank you we are coming with the new topics also related uh, with the different in classes from puc pre-university to the degree level so thank you thank you for watching big book